Hi, I'm Tom Summers with Coldwell Banker Burnett. Welcome. Today I want to talk about closing costs and multiple offers. They somewhat go hand in hand, and in the market that we're in right now in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area, we're seeing a lot of multiple offers because our inventory is at a historic low. Some people will tell you it's eight years. I read an article in the local paper that said 15. That seems like a bit of a stretch, but nonetheless, it's a real problem in the respect that in certain pockets of certain price ranges, we are seeing very low inventory and we're seeing sometimes 10 12 offers which seems insane so that also tells you that the really good homes are selling and the crap is sitting so having said that i think the most important thing to kind of think about before you look for a home or while you're engaging in this process is you need a real estate agent i'm going to say this every single time you need an agent that's going to work for you that's going to strategize with you and have these conversations ahead of time because if you find yourself in a multiple offer situation if you haven't had this discussion about different things we could do to change the offer you're probably already too late because someone smarter has already put something together so you want to be the smartest one in the room and hire the right person who's going to help you having said that i want to give you a couple examples for starters, it's always best if you can pay your own closing costs because it just makes your offer look a lot stronger. It makes you look like a stronger buyer and you don't muck up all of the uh, appraisal process and some of the other things by adding costs onto the value of the home. But if you can't do that, some of the other alternatives, depending on what your lender will tell you for options, would be one you could um, raise your interest rate just a little bit to cover the closing costs through the bank. A second one would be put less money down. So instead of putting maybe 5% down, put 3.5% down, because either way you're gonna pay for the mortgage insurance premium unless you have 20% and pay those closing costs. Sometimes that looks a lot more attractive to a seller because you look like more of a solid buyer. Uh, another thing that you can do with regards to that is structure it in a way that you look like the better buyer by getting your loan officer involved. With my buyers, one of the things I do with my loan officers, each and every offer that we present, I CC him on the thread and he will reach out and make a personal phone call to the listing agent to say, look, my buyer is fully qualified, they're non-contingent, they are ready to move forward and purchase this home. I have pulled everything from credit to pay stubs to investments. I'm giving you the green light that this isn't just like a pre-qualification, but they're fully pre-approved and in many cases have already gone through underwriting. That is going to tip the hand in your favor because if I'm a listing agent and I'm looking at three or four different offers and one of them is 20% down paying their own closing costs or cash offer, more than likely that's going to sit better with the seller because there's less risk. But if you're in a situation like so many other people where you have to go uh, with an FHA plan or conventional with less money down, then how do you differentiate yourself from these other offers. Sometimes it's not always about price. Sometimes it's just literally about terms. So you can build an offer to put you in the best possible position. It's not gonna work every time, but it's certainly gonna increase the chance of you getting that purchase and being able to buy that house. So it's important to have your plan ahead of time. Think about your options. Well, I guess we could actually pay our closing costs if we do this, this, and this. Now, if you're in a situation where you absolutely have to have the closing costs, hey, I understand, I'm not saying that's bad. All I'm saying is, is think it through first to give yourself some options because when you don't have any competition on a house that you're trying to purchase, it's a lot easier than if you have other buyers breathing down your neck with offers. So consider that ahead of time. Get out there and look at houses and by all means, hire the right realtor. Give me a call, I'll help you if you need it. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.